Hey guys, in this video we're going to be going over the toolkit and I'm just going to show you guys what all the options do. So starting first, we're going to go over here to the toolkit and we're going to select the exit to Windows option. Now this option is going to be used for when you want to exit to Windows. So if you want to install any updates or do any sort of administrative tasks, you come here and you select this option. Now sometimes if hyperspend isn't working correctly, this option will not work. So in that case, what you want to do is control shift escape on the keyboard. It'll bring up the task manager and you want to go over here and select hyperspin and then and then do end task. All right, you're not going to have this background here. You're just going to have a black background. So what you have to do next is go to file, run new task, type in Explorer, click OK, and then that's going to load up uh, the Windows desktop for you. All right, so the next option I'm going to show you guys here is the set Windows resolution option. If you have a 1920 by 1080 monitor or TV, you know, 1080p TV, uh, you can come here and do a set windows resolution. When you select this option, you're not really going to see anything happen. You might see a flash on the screen, uh, but you have to do this when you first use your system on a specific TV. So if you just received your system, you have to come here and do this. If you unplug your system, take it to a friend's house, you have to come here and do this. Now, if you have a 1080p TV, this should work. You're not going to see anything on the screen when you select this, maybe a flash, but it's working. But if you select this and your games are acting strange, like stuttering or anything like that, then you still have to do a few other things that I'm about to show you. And these other things also need to be done by anyone with a 4K TV. Simply setting the resolution here is not going to work. So for that, we're going to go ahead and exit to Windows. And all you have to do is right click on the desktop, go to display settings, make sure that this is at 100%, make sure that this here is 1920 by 1080, and then go to advanced display settings, go to display adapter properties, monitor, and make sure that this is at 60 hertz. All right, you want all those settings to match exactly what I just showed here. 100% scaling, 1920 by 1080 resolution, 60 hertz refresh rate. Okay, next up here is going to be Fix MAME Sound. So if you're ever playing a game, especially the arcade games, and uh, there's no sound but Hyperspin has sound, just come here, run Fix MAME Sound, and that should take care of it. Same thing with Fix Game Sound. This is going to apply more to like uh, Nintendo, Super Nintendo, Genesis, those types of systems. Do Fix Game Sound if the game has no sound but Hyperspin does have sound. Uh, if nothing has sound, you probably put the uh, Windows volume down. So you can always go to uh, exit to Windows and over here, check the little speaker icon, make sure that it's up. All right, that's a simple fix for that. Okay, moving along here, fix X pattern. If your Xbox controller isn't working, first check what else is plugged into the, to the computer, to the system. If you have a uh, a, 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 an aim track gun plugged in you have to unplug it if you have a logitech g29 plugged in you have to unplug it if you have a dolphin bar that's the nintendo wii bar that you have to use for the wii modes if that's plugged in you definitely have to unplug that so first check those things make sure that nothing else is plugged in then if your controller is still not working you can come here select fix x pattern and you can also come down here and select use xbox controller and those two options should fix the controller for you. Remote session. If you ever need me to help you out with anything, you come here, you select remote session. This video that is playing there, if you listen to it, it tells you what to do. But when it opens up, it's going to show you an ID and a password like you see there. You have to send me the ID and the password so that I can log in. Your system needs to be online for me to be able to log in. On the bottom of the screen, you're going to see that it says ready to connect on the lower left. That's how you know you're good to go. And you can send me your ID and password and I can log in. If for some reason you can't start it from here, you can also exit to Windows. And in the start menu here, you can see that TeamViewer is also there. Click it there. It'll open up and you can send me your ID and password. All right, next up is use PS4 controller. This is going to be for anybody that wants to use a PS4 controller. It has to be wired with a USB cable. You cannot use a wireless uh, with this option. If you want to use a wireless, you have to use an 8 adapter. I have an explanation of how to do that here on my website. Uh, but for this option, uh, the first time you set this up, you have to be online. Your PC has to be online. You plug in your controller, you come here, you select use PS4 controller, and it's going to go ahead 
and open up a new window and you have to select the first button on top it's going to say something like install ds4 driver you select that and then after that your controller should work okay all right guys and that's pretty much going to be it uh, this start driving option here is just to start your logitech software to be able to use your logitech e29 uh, my Logitech E29 video goes into how to use this, so I'm not going to do that in this video, um, but that is about it. 